Hi everybody, it's Tandy Gutierrez with your weekly We Nomad We Happy.com vlog. So my family and I are traveling for 12 months all over the world. Um, this is our second stop. So our first one was Spain. We stayed in Madrid. We were based there for three months. We took a little short trip to Barcelona, a short visit to Paris. We visited Segovia and now we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So we got here last Saturday night, super, 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 super late. We flew from Madrid back to Atlanta. It was nine and a half hours. We had a four hour layover and then about a, about a three hour flight from Atlanta to San Juan. Um, clearly it's gorgeous, right? We're on an island. Um, and I'm doing these weekly vlogs of like what I learned and just sharing the experience. So what the recap of Madrid from the fitness and wellness perspective is that, or just in general, is that the food's super clean. Like the pesticides and the chemicals are not as present in the foods. It's illegal there. The GMOs are illegal and it's very clear. The quality of food is better. It's cleaner. Um, we had a wonderful, easier time eating out. They're super food educated on sensitivities and allergies and it's really easy to communicate and people are super empathetic. Um, our grocery bill went from being like 350 to 450 a week for four. Now that's all of us who are gluten free and I, we're totally committed as a household to as much organic as possible, right? And for the necessity of the clean meats for my system um, and the autoimmune issues. So in Spain, we knocked it down to like 150 to 200, 250 a week. I mean, because the quality of food, you're not buying the same things, they're safer, um, and the food sources are just less expensive. Now there's a lot of things that we couldn't get there, but we found wonderful you know, replacements for them, or we just didn't miss them. Veggies, fruits, and clean meats. I mean, that's, that's what we do. Um, going out was so much easier because they're so much more educated about it. So coming to San Juan was like, okay, what's it gonna be like on an island? Clearly there's gonna be beautiful fruit, um, but you are on an island and it is a US territory. So already in the first week, I'm su we're super clear of like, ooh, oh, oh, okay. It's gonna be more expensive, um, but again, things balance out. So it's not to scare things off, this is just the first week. Um, it's, we still haven't found our combination yet. We're back in the land of expensive food. So there are some really high-end um, boutique -y grocery stores that we found, which are great because the boys are really excited to be like, yay, gluten-free pancake mix that we're familiar with. Um, but things are imported, so they're expensive. And the organic here is very pricey. Um, I need to do a little bit more research on what things are really gonna look like for the long haul, but there seems to be some wonderful farmers markets here and some other resources so we're gonna you know this grocer's daughter is gonna go one store at a time and one resource at a time and we'll figure out our food code here um, but we are back in the land of more processed foods and, and dirty foods quite frankly um, so I have to be a little bit more careful we're on a street that um, is supposed to be like the hip street and um, but it's rainy season so you're gonna hear the thunder in the background and it's also very depressed you know country so or territory the, it's you guys can do your research on that and I'm sure there'll be lots of comments of this and that we've been discussing as a family potentially moving here part of the year because we have the flexibility to do that and there's a lot of tax incentives right now to get people from the mainland to move here yes we there's all kinds of things that go with it and we're here to explore that partially um, so being here is a little more in depth in the exploration than in some of our other visits and our adventures on this um, 12 months. We'll be in Puerto Rico based from here for three months. This is just week one. Um, but everybody's really happy <laughs> to be by the ocean. We're all kind of water babies. And, um, but it's the rainy season, so it's been storming. So we're trying to sneak in and out of the beach when we can, when it's not thundering and lightning. Um, what have we learned so far? My kids are amazing travelers, that this is totally worth it, and I see them maturing and growing in beautiful ways every day. So I'll keep you posted. If you wanna work out with me, mattandkitchen.com, and I'll have one of these every week, every Friday, to keep you posted on exactly what we're learning and doing.